Good evening. I'm Laurel Porter. First at 11, an assault along the Max line. It happened in broad daylight at the Max stop near Lloyd Center. The night team's Mike Better has this story you'll see only on 8. Mike? Laurel, the victim is absolutely stunned by what she calls an unprovoked attack. She tells us she was set to board the Max at this Northeast Portland stop when she was assaulted. And tonight, she's calling on TriMet to add more security. The max stop near Lloyd Center is a busy one, and that was the case around noon last Thursday when Bethany Dunn says she was approached by a panhandler. She said, hey, can I ask you for a favor? And I go, I'm sorry, I don't have any extra change. And she started spitting in my face. Dunn says the woman reeked of alcohol and began to get physical. She started by punching me and then pushing me, and then she pulled my hair and got me in a headlock and held me wrapped around the bar. Dunn managed to call 911. TriMet police showed up and arrested Verna May Long Soldier for assault and the fourth degree. I ended up having to go in the ambulance to the hospital and I was in a neck brace for four hours and now they have me on pain medications which I don't prefer. My head hurt. The assault comes less than a month after a teenager beat up an 84 year old woman at a max stop in Gresham. It begs the question does TriMet need more security? Bethany Dunn believes it does. I usually have my son with me, so the fact that it happened to me in broad daylight is scary enough and the fact if I had my son with me it would have been even worse. Some riders disagree. They think TriMet security is adequate. I've never seen anything get that bad. And you know, there's some people who get a little angry, but they don't actually resort to violence. It's like any public transportation or anywhere, there's going to be violence anywhere you go. And that may be the case, but Bethany Dunn won't stand for it. She pledges to stay away from TriMet until she sees improvements. Max and bus are like my main modes of transportation, so I'd like to be able to ride carefree again. <laughs> And back out here live, we did reach out to TriMet tonight. A spokesperson confirms the attack did happen, but they declined to comment on the agency's security measures. Back to you. Mike Benner, live downtown.